once you truly take that step to that awakening, like we talked about before, there will be resistance. There will be external resistance, distractions, right? People may be attacking you. Internal resistance, all your stuff comes up, unconscious self-sabotage, all of that, that will interfere with the awakening process. But from an esoteric perspective, these are lessons and tests to pass through, right? Literally, like it's, it's, it's symbolized in crossing the threshold and like opening the gate uh, to the kingdom, which is your true self. But are there all these riddles and tests and traps people can engage into, you know, spiritual bypassing is a trap. The trap of superiority. That's a big one. <laughs> I fell and fall into that one. We all fall into that one as truth seekers, because all of a sudden you think you know it all and you feel I'm, I know so much more and I'm so much better than the sheeple. You know, when you call other people sheep or the normies, right? And you feel so much better. That's a trap. That's the yeah. ego has taken over. That's how it feeds other forces. And you see other people below them. No, that shows that you didn't have a psychological, let alone a spiritual awakening. Because if you had have that, you would understand also that the sleeping masses, which you may be locked down to, they're just deeply conditioned, wounded, traumatized, uh, and, and programmed, right? Yeah. So... Like you have been at some point as well. We all have in this or past lifetime, right? So I'm not saying falling into blind compassion, boundaries need to be made, but the more you're full of yourself and you think you have figured it out and look down on others, that's a trap, right? That's the ego taking it over. So there are many other traps. The another trap is the black pill trap or like everything sucks, you know, just bring it all down. This world sucks. Don't bring any children. We are fucked. That's another trap in itself. Right, it's also feeds of other forces. The, um, the 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 trap that nothing matters anyway. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Like and like a nihilism almost. Right. Um, what other traps do we have? There's the trap of helping others. <laughs> Sounds contradictory, right? But I found when we're like so excited and when uh, about our awakening, we realize, and maybe you can relate to that or many others. When we try to convince others of what we're seeing, we push information on others who didn't ask for it. Right. And, and then we usually get met with resistance or attacks because there's an also universal law only give when it's asked for. You know, you cannot infringe with free will and force people to wake up. Right. It's not ha happening. We can spread seeds of awareness as you're doing with your work, with your podcast. Absolutely. And some people oh, that's interesting. And then they take the lead on their own. But we cannot forcefully help others. We can only help others who are willing to help themselves. That's yeah. a key point. I've learned this also in my work. You know, even with the work my wife and I do is like we it's not we don't promise anything. We have certain practices, things we have studied, we've worked through, we apply in ourselves. We can teach you that, but you need to do the work yourself, right? And we can guide you and assist you on that. But ultimately, you are your own healer. You are your own guru. You need to wake up. Nobody else can do it for you.